Hi, my name is Ed Rudiger, and I'd like to share some scripture and a devotion I just wrote. The scripture passage comes from the 10th chapter of John. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, he has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, these are not words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of, of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said, How long will you keep us in suspense? Or if you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hands. The Father and I are one. And here's a devotion that I entitled, The Sheep Will Still Hear. Our world can be, well, discouraging for Christians, especially those living in our society. I mean, we try to share the good news of God through our words and our actions, and yet in spite of our best efforts, we seem to fall short. In other words, our message just doesn't seem to be received. Of course, the reasons for that vary from person to person. For example, some believers have, well, they've Christianized a false gospel that, equa that equates whatever they believe with the truth. And so, if you share anything that runs counter their beliefs, you're called a liar or worse, even if what you're saying is supported by both scripture and common sense. Now, that's a problem. And so, all those Christians who've forgotten that the good news isn't grounded in a book of ecclesiastical laws or minute details of worship, a position that often results in a disconnect between showing compassion to others and obeying the rules. No, sharing the love of God and the grace of Christ can be both frustrating and discouraging. But before we give up, I think it's important to remember the words of Jesus Christ when he said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. You see, even though our frustration and discouragement is real, we serve a God who's greater than us, one who's always working. And his word will still resonate, despite those who define the Christian faith by what's most comfortable and who squeeze the gospel into a structure that seems more focused on preserving itself than in doing any actual good. In other words, what God is doing is greater than us, even though we might be ready to give up. Even when we might feel this way, we need to remember that the sheep will still hear. Amen.